Tesla's new Gigafactory in China is seriously ramping up production. Elon Musk is planning to build over 20 Gigafactories around the world to keep up with the high demand for their vehicles. The team completed the $2 billion project at a record speed, moving from the initial permit to final electrical work in just 168 working days. With such exceptional cars and impressive record speeds, we can't help but wonder what the insides of the structure holds. And we know we are not the only ones wondering. And that's why in today's video, we're going to show you what's inside Tesla's new Shanghai Gigafactory. Before diving into the details, consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to watch more interesting videos from TechWave. Tesla Giga Shanghai is the company's first Gigafactory outside of the United States. The agreement to build the production facility in July 2018 was made with the Shanghai Municipal Government. Along with the deal came a long-term lease signed for about 210 acres of land later in the year. The construction broke ground in December 2018 with the installation of secure fencing and site offices. By August 2019, the General Assembly building was nearly complete and manufacturing line equipment was being installed for batteries and automobiles. The plant began initial production of Tesla Model 3 cars in October 2019, with an additional production facilities for motors, seats, and powertrain assemblies under construction in late 2019, which were expected to be completed by March 2020. While the government requires foreign manufacturers to create a joint venture with the local company or shoulder a 25% tax on imports in previous years, Tesla is the first foreign company to own a car manufacturing plant in the country. It is truly a Chinese unicorn. The plant officially opened in December 2019 to great fanfare, complete with an employee job proposal and a display event for the first Model 3 electric cars. Even though it was forced to close down on January 29, 2020, due to the coronavirus outbreak, the plant was back in business a few weeks later on the 10th of February. Tesla said on an earnings call that the Shanghai outlet already boasts an annual capacity of 150,000 cars, averaging out to about 3,000 cars produced a week. With the completion of the factory's first phase, the company plans to boost production capacity to 500,000 a year after the following phase. However, it isn't clear when exactly Tesla expects to achieve those goals. After some time, the Chinese newspaper Global Times published that Tesla had completed the main building in the Shanghai factory second phase focused on producing Model Y cars. This was less than five months after the company had launched the expansion project. CEO Elon Musk introduced the Model Y crossover for the Chinese market, saying that the demand for the vehicle will rise higher than other Tesla models combined. He also had plans of forming a design and engineering center in China so that Tesla could eventually develop a brand new car from there, he said. Local production could help Musk build on recent momentum for the company in the country, which is also the world's largest market for normal gas guzzlers. Tesla is storming into China with prices that aren't much higher than the local manufacturers such as Neo Inc. and Xping Motors, while undercutting global giants such as BMW AG and Dahmer AG. Lately, Tesla's shares have been on a tear ever since the company reported a surprise quarterly profit in late October 2020. The car maker is on much steadier footing, having worked out the kinks in the limited initial production of the Model 3 and managing to far outpace sales of many other automakers' electric vehicles in the U.S. Tesla showed off the inside of its Model 3 production hub at its Shanghai Gigafactory in a video. The 48-second time-lapse clip created by the U.S.-based electric vehicle maker provides a look at what CEO and product architect Elon Musk describes as its alien dreadnought. As Electrek first reported on the video points out, the video shows up to eight robots producing a single Model 3 vehicle. Musk is looking to shift the company's focus toward global manufacturing, building out additional car factories worldwide, and increasingly toward automotive production. In an interview with Xinhua News Agency in May 2020, Tesla Global Vice President Tao Lin estimated that the Shanghai factory would produce 200,000 cars a year by the end of the second quarter. Musk's charm offensive in China has appeared to pay off, 
Originally just a muddy plot about a 90-minute drive away from Shanghai's city center, the China plant has quickly come online since its construction at the start of 2019. It took twice as long for Tesla's Gigafactory near Reno, Nevada to churn out batteries. Back in China, Tesla's been winning various concessions from local authorities, ranging from approvals to preferential loans. Even more notable given the trade war with the U.S. Moreover, the locally built car was included on a list of vehicles qualifying for an exemption from a 10% purchase tax in China. It also qualified for a government subsidy of 24,750 yen or $3,560 per vehicle. With the subsidies, Tesla has cut motor prices with the company announcing it would reduce the starting price of the Model 3 by 9% to 50 million and down to 45 million. Those prices put Tesla closer to some models from domestic EV makers, such as Xping Motors' latest P7 sedan, which starts at 37 million. NIO's SUVs start from 55 million, though that price doesn't consider subsidies. Prices could go down further as motor analysts familiar with the matter have said. Tesla is also considering further lowering the price of the sedans by using more local components and reducing costs. The company's manufacturing director, Song, said that about 30% of the parts currently used by the Shanghai facility are sourced locally, and the company planned to increase that to 100% by the end of 2020. The size of the factory has more than doubled to accommodate Model Y production. Tesla is again expanding Gigafactory Shanghai with new buildings coming up on the eastern side. The automaker is also looking to add a design director to its Chinese team ahead of the new planned $25,000 electric car. When talking about what Tesla's new battery cell and structural battery pack architecture could enable at Battery Day last year, CEO Elon Musk announced that Tesla would be making a $25,000 electric car. Elon Musk made it clear that they achieved this price point through Tesla's new battery cell and battery manufacturing effort. Some documents about Gigafactory Shanghai hinted that Tesla could start producing the new vehicle at the plant next year. The further expansion at the factory could also be to support the production of the new car. Work at Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory is going smoothly, with the construction of several expansion projects making standard progress. Reuters earlier reported that Tesla decided to halt a plan to buy land to expand its Shanghai plant and it refrained in March from building on a site across the road from the present plant. Tesla never declared an intention to acquire the land, although buying the land would have enabled the company to lift capacity by another 200,000 to 300,000 cars. The reported halt to land buying comes as the U.S. car maker has faced a rocky few months in China, with a broadly publicized Tesla user protest at the Shanghai Auto Show and a decline in China sales in April. According to data released by the China Passenger Car Association CPCA, Tesla's sales on the Chinese mainland dropped by more than 27% in April from March. The company sold 25,845 EVs in April, down 27.15% from March's 35,478 vehicles, but the figure was still higher than in January and February. According to analysts, the overall development of Tesla in China is still on a standard track. In its first quarter financial results issued in April, Tesla said that its Shanghai factory would continue to increase quarterly output through the year. The current annual capacity is 450,000 vehicles, and exports to Europe and the Asia-Pacific region continue to progress as planned. The project shows that Tesla's ambition goes beyond China. CEO Elon Musk has described the Shanghai factory as the automaker's template for future growth. Tesla broke ground on a Gigafactory in Berlin, Germany, and a visit by Musk to England sparked rumors about a Gigafactory popping up there. Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory is also going to be the most advanced and most extensive electric vehicle manufacturing plant in the world. The plant will definitely shake up the car industry not just in Germany, but throughout all of Europe. Tesla has experienced delays in starting the production due to fierce environmental resistance, red tape, and planning tweaks. But finally, 
They are hoping to get the last approval from the government in October. Musk has even gone so far to recently announce that Tesla aims to start the production of Model Y at Gigafactory Berlin. And that brings us to the end of this video. Do share your thoughts about Tesla's Gigafactory in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to TechWave. As always, thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next video.